Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and I want to welcome you to my today. Um, anyhow, today I've got a commission piece here. And um, it is a huge ceramic thingamajiggy. I don't know, what you might call it, thingamajiggy. And she wants to use it in her kitchen, and, but she hates the blue on it. She does not want the blue on it. Uh, it does have a handle, which I'm going to work on later at another time. But she wants greens. Uh, she's got a lot of mint green in her house. Or uh, in her kitchen. Okay. So this is kind of like an ocean green. And I added some white to it. This is emerald emerald green from Master's Touch. That This one is from uh, Fine Touch. This is, it's really a light, light olive green. Ooh, let me look. It's a funny, yeah, let's see. Yeah. It is light olive green, but I added some white to light in, lighten it up. And so it's, it's a really good um, contrast color. And I was looking for a contrast. Because I don't want to put anything dark. She wants to keep it up in light. So, okay. I might not even have enough paint here. These cups are huge. And um, I may not have enough. So, I also have um, some phthalo, phthalo green also. Um, a lot of these, I think, are Master's Touch. So, this one, it feels thick still. And I want to keep it kind of thick. But I want to... This is about all of my Floetrol. Um, well, I have more, but... All of it that's strained so I'm hoping I even may have to do this again I may have to pour once and then go over because she's got this has got a lot and it's got this little ridge here and then it goes down and it does its little ditty thing I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this but I'm gonna try okay because it's got a lot of uh, dips and stuff so you know what I've noticed though the colors that you think you like the most um, I, on um, when you do these things it seems like they kind of disappear on you and they're not where you want them to be so how do you fix that so I don't know um, and that's why I want to make sure that I have this correct usually you go light dark light dark light dark whatever and um, usually but I don't know all of these are good contrasting colors and I like the way they look together, just the way I have them. So I could easily go light, dark, light, dark, up, oh, light, dark, and then these are kind of neutral in the same color, but this one's definitely dark. So if any of those, because they're of a different shade of green, then I think um, the differences, contrast of colors will still be okay in this. Um, these are a little bit thicker because I don't want them too thin. They'll just kind of float off. Um, almost a... Hmm. That might be... I don't know. That might be a little... It's a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound. That one's pretty thick. Let me see. Where's my float trough? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where did it go? Where did it go? Well, y'all, I've got... Tomorrow and a wake up, and then I'll see my kiddos. And so I'm so so excited. Oh, they're coming in from Idaho. I know I've been talking about it, but you know they're my favorite people. I, my kids, I just love them to pieces. And um, I'm over here pouring up some float trawl. Uh, so I'm just thankful that they're coming. Very very thankful. Okay. Hopefully there's no blobs. Usually I do. I'm faithful. But that looked pretty good actually um, for a little while my husband works at Lowe's and so for a little while it seemed like they weren't getting any any flow trawl in and I went oh no because I use the I use flow trawl and water and I also use the glue and water depending on what I'm doing this can you see that that's a better see it just leaves a trace a better trace and it stays on there for a little bit and I mix these up this one is already good that's where I wanted it let's see because they were, you know, mixed up, and yeah, that one looks good. It was just that one that was a little bit thick. Um, and this one is the same. That one's good. 
we'll check out this phalo. Her floors actually are checkered, and they're checkered like with this color in it. So, um, oh my goodness, that might be a little thick. Let me just add a wee bit more. Hey, I want to shout out to Tammy Anderson. She shouted me out on her latest video, and I'm very thankful. Thank you, Tammy, for honoring me like that. I appreciate it. You inspire me. You're such a great teacher, and I'm very thankful. Okay, guys, then I thought maybe in the midst of it, as I'm layering, I may squirt a little bit of gold here and a little bit of white there, um, but I'm not sure. So, where do I want to start? Because <laughs> generally, I mean, I'm going to pour it up like a ring pour. That's definitely what I'm going to do. Um, and I put it in this little tub, because um, we might be out for a few days. But um, put it in this tub so I can move it and get it off my table. Because I might just paint tomorrow, I'm telling you. It just could happen. Um, I'm kind of hooked on it, y'all. Uh... Let's see, should I start with the phalo? Ooh, what goes in first goes comes out last. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start with phalo, but I may switch this up actually. And I'm thinking I'm going to need a lot of paint now. I'm going to go over here to this light. Don't tip over. Y'all, this little um, tray that's on the very bottom of this is actually, um, there's the emerald, is actually we got a new stove and I saved out the, um, <laughs> the grates that were in there. I mean, I'm telling you, talk about fun. Talk about having, and then I'll end up with the Viridian and start over, put some smaller ones. I might even just put a little bit of white. I don't want too much white, y'all. Okay. And then I'm going to start with that. Back over here. Because I know I'm going to need this cup plus. So, and it's going to drain down back to this little, this grate or this, I don't know what they call it, a shelving. I think I'm going to put this. And then I'm going to squirt some 24 karat gold. All right. Oh, you know what, guys? Y'all know me. I forget. Oh, my gosh. That looks great. I've been meaning to uh, clean that lid out. And, you know, I clean up and I go, oh, okay, I'm tired. <gasps> Look at that next to that. That beautiful color. All right. And then Meridian. Viridian, not Meridian. <laughs> That's a little funny because when we were um, lived in Idaho, there's a town not too far from where we were, about an hour's drive. We used to live on the base, and then the little town that was there. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure how this um, is going to turn out. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let me... Um, I bet these will be okay. I'll move them over one little grate. And this has got some space underneath it. So I'm hoping it'll just drip down and I can collect this later. Okay? Alright, there's my white over here. I already got my gloves dirty. Are y'all ready? I've never done a piece this big. Now I've done canisters, but I have never done one this big and that had so many, what are they, undulations? little little waves and things like this so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing this and it's gonna pour over eventually I'm just doing a simple pour let's see what happens wow these colors are amazing this may not have wow Wow, this is so cool. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to take another cup. And y'all, the phalo did not overtake it. Wow. I'll take you in for a, 
um, another look in just a sec. But we're going to start all over. Let's do it like we did before. Okay, here's the truth, y'all. And I bet you I'm not the only woman that does this. How many well, women swipe their husband's t-shirts and say, well, I'm not going to get paint on them, and lo and behold, what happens? That gold didn't even show up. I'm going to put a little bit more white. And you promised you wouldn't get any paint on his t-shirt, but lo and behold, you did, because I did, and I told him I wasn't, and I did. And um, now the shirt is mine. I always swipe his shirts anyhow. Anybody else? Really? Anybody else? All right. Oh, I love it that it's going down below, because I'll be able to use this again. Um, I'm not going to put any more of that yellow, yellow part in. I might put a little bit more gold. It didn't really even show up, so I don't know. <gasps> oh, did y'all see that? I forgot to take the lid out, and I didn't turn it on real tight. So we're going to find out real quick what happens. The lid is in there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a first. That's a first. <laughs> All right. That's a first. No lie. No lie. Okay. Well, by golly, it's in there. I wonder what design it's going to do. Let me look around this side and see where the paint is dripping. And there's a spot here and a spot here. But, you know, I'm okay. This is really super green right here. Needs more paint on this side. So let's see. We're going to find that lid. I'm going to bring this over this way. Guys, the, um, oh, maybe I'll get some gold in this one. There it is. There it is. Oh, Lord have mercy. Can you see that mess I did? I kind of liked it the first time. I may end up using a lot of paint, y'all. But it is a commission, so um, we will. I want it right, so whatever it takes, right? All right. And what I'm doing right here is that there's some spots on this side that didn't quite go all the way down, and I want to make sure that it did. Um, this is very pretty, very pretty, but it's still super dark on this one side, and she really, I, oh my gosh, look at those colors underneath, oh yeah, oh yeah, that is gorgeous, but I got to do something with this dark here, I'm, I've got to do another little ditty without the green, because it's, it's got to, but that gold, yes, See what I can do to get rid of some of that gold and um, not gold, the green. I'm glad I made enough paint, y'all. But this is gorgeous. I am going to put. Well, now that my lid popped off my gold, I have to do what I need to do. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to put a dash, just a dash, a dash. And I'm going to put some white in this. And, hmm. Well, there's even cells forming, and there is no silicone in any of this, so we know what that means. Density, I probably have green paint on my face. Density and... Um, just your paint, the friction of it. Um, I'm trying to do it very specific. Now it's super yellow on this side, like a green yellow. Oh, y'all, it's going to take me a while, I think. But oh man, 
Y'all, it's beautiful on this side. I think she'll like it. And it's going to drip down. That's what I like about it. It's going to drip down. Wow, is there a lot of paint underneath there. I don't know if that's going to work. But I think I got enough phalo. We'll see. Um, I'll take a picture of it tomorrow and see. Um... And see tomorrow how it is because you know it keeps draining it keeps going and going and going and going until <laughs> it can't go anymore wow and I can be creative in how I put my colors in here too I guess it's coming out pretty I'm it went almost all no green on this side y'all so I'm having to put whatever's in the bottom of the cup and it's dripping dripping down now am I worried about what's catching at the bottom of the lip around the bottom I'm not at all okay I'm not worried about that at all well this is pretty cool and I bet that's pretty thick Ooh, that's thick that's like a quarter of an inch thick where are my paper towels? Hmm. Y'all might hear my kitty. She likes to talk to me, and she is so stinking noisy and loud. She is a Russian blue. Well, y'all, Russian blues just love to talk. Okay. I have to do this. Okay. There we go. I kind of helped it on this side. Because it was super thick. This is gorgeous. I think she's going to love it. I need to bring you in so you can see this gorgeous, I'm going to call it a mess, this gorgeous mess over here. But yeah. When she has this in her flooring, so let me see what I can do. Let's see if it'll go down. So now you can be selective again. I thought this was going to be really hard because of the shape of it, but it's really being pretty cool. And it's after 10 o'clock. It is 1018 here in Summertown, Tennessee local. And um, I don't want too much. Oops. Let's get you like that. I'm not worried about the bottom, but I do want the bottom to be pretty. Right? Anything else? Maybe right in here, a little line. Come on. And of course, we have 24 karat gold. So we know what that means, right? That it's going to be gorgeous. And there's enough paint for me to say, hello, let's make you prettier. Come on. This is going to take a long time. A long time to dry but I want it to dry and I want it to be as thin as I can get it this is a gorgeous it looks like pottery it's so beautiful oh my gosh okay I'm gonna move these real quick oh I better put my flow troll lid on that will be scary has anybody dumped their flow troll I'm not dumped it I have not dumped it but I have gotten well, shoot, I just plugged my my lid into my cup. So, hey, how many of y'all have done that? This one needs a little continuance. That last little thing kind of... And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I don't even want to touch it, but I may have to do something with it. Let me peek around this side before I put everything away. Everything, everything is covered. Amazing. I am totally amazed. Okay. Well, let me get this out of the way. Then I'm going to take off these, like, monster gloves. <laughs> and, um, anyhow. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And then I am going to resin this. Um, she knows we've already had the resin talk, not to immerse it in water, not to do any of that. 
um, just you know wipe it down with a damp rag wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol but um, damp rag is sufficient um, it's like we don't wear our jewelry in the in the shower if we wear our jewelry in the shower oh my lord have mercy there goes your jewelry so those of you that are new to doing any kind of resining make sure you tell your clients that y'all don't wear it. Tell your kids if it's something for a child or a kid. Tell them not to wear these little necklaces and bracelets. Take them off and treat it as if it is, um, you know, sacred. <laughs> it was passed down from your great, 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 great grandma. All right, I'm going to do a little bit. There are a few. Oh, y'all, you're not going to believe this, but this here, I got... I guess I got a little bit of resin on it, and it takes. I'm going to have to go in there and clean it out, but I have to take a paint holder. But once I, oh, no, it's not going to let me. And, um, oh, you rat think. There we go. And I'm just going to pop any bubbles. I'm not going to go crazy with it, though, because I really don't want to develop any cells. I am just looking for bubbles. And, um, This, I don't know about y'all, but this looks like someone did homemade pottery on it or something. All right, I'm going to turn this off and then um, I'm going to get my camera down. Hang on just a sec. Be right back. Okay. Oh, my Lord, look at this. All right, can you see the, the beautiful look at that? That is so gorgeous. All right, let me bring it around. I'm not worried about the top, but the top is quite pretty. See how it came down and everything underneath. I may have to make some weird angles to get my camera in. I may not even be able to. Let me see if I can do it like that and bring it up. Now all of these colors, I think she's going to love. And I think that green, which is kind of a yellowy green, is going to be a great highlight. I thought about even... Look at that. Look at down in there. This isn't even doing it justice, but you may see it better on on the YouTube channel, but on my uh, my camera here, it doesn't do the best. So, and I'm not the best videographer, definitely not a cinematographer. <laughs> Anyhow, y'all, this is this was fun. Um, I learned some things with it, and some of it was like surprising on how well it covered and went in all the little crevices and went up underneath. I don't even have to touch up so far. And there's only there was only a few bubbles. So, y'all, it is gorgeous. I will let you know. Now, this is going to take a while, but when it is done, I will definitely, definitely um, show you um, when it's complete before I hand it over. She has really cute... Um, uh, kind of like a handle and it's kind of metal. I'm going to have to kind of buff that down with Brillo. Brie, I probably will do like a gold and then spray it. And then, but it has a little wood handle on it too. So I'm going to fix it up and make it all beautiful. But y'all, I thank you for uh, sharing this today with me. And I, I really, you know, I'm very thankful. So go ahead and if you like this, go ahead and give me the like it and thumbs up. Go ahead and share it with some friends of yours. Let them see what they could do too. Even if, you know, they thought that they weren't artsy fartsy. I think anybody could do this. You saw how hard I didn't work on it, right? Um, and, you know, subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And, oh, y'all, look at this. I'm sorry. I, I'm like a squirrel, squirrel. Anyhow, y'all can't see it, but it's so, maybe it's because I'm not the, that is so, look at that, right? Ooh, where's my finger? Where are you, finger? Mm. Okay, I can't do it. Um, navigationally challenged. <laughs> there it is, right there. It is so gorgeous. She is going to absolutely adore this. Anyhow, subscribe. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and new subscribers. Again, thank you, Tammy Anderson, for that great uh, shout out. I do appreciate it. Um, Y'all, I'll see you next time here at Happy Art Creations. Y'all have a good day night. Be blessed. Bye-bye.